This is where closures can start to read a bit like line noise. A closure you pass into a function can also accept its own parameters. We've been using empty parens returns void to mean accepts no parameters and returns nothing. But you can go ahead and fill the empty parens with the types of any parameters that your closure should accept. To demonstrate this, we can write a travel function that accepts a closure as its only parameter and that closure in turn accepts a string. Func travel action accepts string returns void. Inside there, print I am getting ready to go. Action London. Print I arrived. End function. Now when we call travel using trailing closure syntax, our closure code is required to accept a string. Travel place string in. Print I am going to place in my car. Closing brace.